In this video, we are going to have a look at how to prepare ourselves with the change that is coming in one month's time regarding enforcing MFA for sign-ins to Azure portal, uh, Intra-ID admin portal and the Intune admin portal by Microsoft. So Microsoft has provided a workbook that we can implement which gives us a snapshot of as to the accounts that are not using MFA at the moment and then we can go ahead and take a look at the accounts that we have that are used in some kind of an automation or some scripts that we have and make corrective actions so that those accounts start using MFA or move them out for using a managed identity or by using a service principle if they are used for Azure automation. So in order to do that, we need three things. So the first thing is that we are in the Entra ID portal, so entra.microsoft.com. We need a log analytics workspace to which we can send the Entra ID sign-in logs. Once we have the sign-in logs in the workspace, then we can have a workbook that kind of ties in to that particular workspace and then pull out a report for us as we have more and more sign-ins. So let's get started. So in order to have a log analytics workspace, let's go into the Azure portal. So portal.azure.com, click on log analytic workspaces. I already have one here created, Endra logs. But if you do want to have one, and if you're starting from blank, click on the create button. Wait for the window to load, select your subscription. Um, you can use an existing resource group or you can create a new one. So for example, I'll just go for test because I don't want to create this one as I already have one and give a name for your log analytics. Let's say Entra sign in logs and select your region. Mine is UK South. Click on next. We don't really need the tags for this. Click on review and create. Wait for the validation to pass and then click on the create button to actually create the log analytic workspace. So if you click on create button over here, it will create the analytics workspace for you. So that's pretty straightforward. So as I already have one, I'm not going ahead with the creation, but I already have one here called Endra Logs. So next step that we have is to push the sign in logs that we have with an Endra ID into the log analytic workspace that we have. So for that, we go back into the Endra ID portal we scroll all the way down within the identity pane on the left hand side, come into the monitoring and health section and we go into diagnostic settings. So we set up a new diagnostic settings with the type of logs that we want to be pushed into the log analytics workspace. So again, I already have one setup called Endra ID monitoring and it is going into the log analytics workspace called Endra logs. And if I click on the edit settings, I can see what all logs are being pushed. So I have the audit logs, sign in logs, non interactive user sign in logs, service principal ones, managed identities, provisioning logs. So you can select all the ones that you need. And on the right hand side, we can give the destination details. So here we are sending it to a log analytics workspace called Entra logs. So that's the only one that I have. So that's kind of pre filled. But if you have multiple analytics workspaces, then you need to choose the one that has the sign in logs. So if you don't have one, you can easily create one by using the add diagnostic setting, selecting the logs that you want, give a name, select the destination, and then click on save. So as we already have one, we can use that going forward. So we have the Entra ID monitoring one. Now the last step that we have is to kind of collate all the information that we have in the sign-in logs, which is getting pumped into the log analytics workspace into a beautiful report, like a bar chart and the numbers and and all the information that we need so that we can identify whether we have any user accounts that are not currently using MFA but still signing into either Azure portal or Entra ID portal or the Intune admin center. So these are the three ones that is targeted in the first go by Microsoft. Later on in the beginning of next year, they are also going to roll out the MFA prompt or the MFA trigger for all kind of sign-ins to Azure CLI, the PowerShell and all the other workloads which is a good thing. So it's all about protecting admin access onto the sensitive endpoints that we have within the cloud. So in order to have our workbook created, so let's again go into the left-hand side within the Entry ID portal. So we click on Monitoring and Health, expand it, and we click on Workbooks. So because we need to create a workbook, and the workbook is provided by Microsoft, so we have it in the GitHub. I will put the link in the description. So what we need is we just need to copy paste the raw code that we have. So click on raw, wait for it. Let's just copy select all and copy it. Now let's just go back into the gallery. So over here you will have some predefined 
workbooks that is created by Microsoft. Now for our purpose, let's click on new button to create a new one. And let's click on this symbol so that we get the advanced view so that we can paste any JSON payload. So let's click on that one. So we get a predefined or a starting point for our code. So let's just delete all of that. Just select all of them and just delete. And since we have already copied the workbook code that we have, which is provided by Microsoft, all we have to do is just paste the code over here. Now click on apply on the right hand side. And you can see the multi-factor authentication gaps for tenants using conditional access. So that's the um, name that's been given. We can click on done editing and then we can save. Click on the save button. So by just doing done editing, it doesn't finish the process. So in order to create the workbook, we have to click on save. And on the right hand side, it will be prompt for the name of the workbook. So you could say monitoring MFA, for example. And you can select the subscription, select the resource ID or the resource group. Um, we'll go for test in our case or Android logs. And we can select the location. So in my case, it is UK South. And we can click on apply. So I already have this one pre-created. So if you click on apply, it will create the workbook for you. So let's just come out of it and let me go back into the workbooks so that I can show you the one that I already have. So it's over here and multi-factor authentication gaps and that's that's kind of the um, title so the name that we have given for the workbook is multi-factor authentication gaps so you can put any name that you want something that is recognizable for you now as you have more sign-ins into your tenant and, and as those logs are getting pushed into the workspace it will get analyzed by this workbook and you will have a nice report over here so at the moment it's completely empty because we have just created the workbook and once it goes on, you will get a better report and you will be able to pick out any users who doesn't have MFA at the moment who are accessing sensitive endpoints like Azure Portal, Intune Admin Center, and Android Admin Center. So even though only Intune Admin Center is targeted, the Windows 365 Cloud PC uh, portal is kind of within the Intune, so that will be affected as well. So by using this runbook, we can easily figure out as to where we stand with regards to the MFA deployment for the admin accounts and whether we have any accounts that doesn't have MFA or kind of excluded from the MFA policy for whatever reason or whether we have any user accounts which are used for signing in to the endpoints using say at Azure Automation. So instead of using a service principle or an application to authenticate and run the runbook, you may be having a user account and a password combination and kind of avoiding the MFA. So that will stop working from 15th of October, 2024. So this workbook will give you a realistic view as to where you stand and you can pick the accounts that comes out of the workbook report and then tackle it one by one. If you found the video informative, please do consider subscribing to the channel as I upload videos around Microsoft 365, Intune and Azure on a pretty frequent basis. Thank you.